My god, this man's strumming skills are so fast and effective, he's phasing out of existence. His wife must be very happy. Oh, hey look, his hair moved to his chin to hear the music better. Yeah, no hate on this man. He's got the kind of head that looks beautiful when it's bald anyway. Mwah. Okay, that's an interesting slant in the glasses there. I, I've never seen them go down like that. Just in the middle, like, they, they, don't they usually just go straight across? His glass is so thick, when he looks at a map, he can see people waving. <laughs> What? As in, because it's like magnifying glasses? <laughs> you can't offend me. I'm too beautiful. Oh, really, sir? Well, you've made the first mistake. Giving yourself some essence of a compliment on the internet. Don't you understand? Someone didn't have as nice of a coffee today than usual, so therefore you have to be miserable like them. Redditors, attack! You look like you started a metalcore band so you can write songs about hating your dad and hit on minors at the same time. You look like a wet cigarette butt wished it was a real boy. James is a kitty cat. He's all bite no fight though. Mother Flipper looks like a Big Mac with extra sauce. Okay, um, at first I thought you it was weird of you to imply that they are someone who is a tasty but notably dirty caloric intake of a snack, but you did call James that at first, so I understand now why you're implying that they're nice to eat. I think that's called desperate, not bisexual. Uh, no, see, bisexuality is that I would sleep with men or women. Desperation would be if I slept with you. Meanwhile, in World of T-Shirts, it's a photo of no T-Shirts. <laughs> The subreddit is a lie! All I see is fashionable swagger and riz! Hey, you ever see a singular bowling pin stare at you menacingly before you bowl a spare? That's it. That's them in human form. Where BP, the first step to reducing your emissions. Oh really, your emissions. We're the ones that are the problem. B BP, you're saying that. Well, it's to know where you stand. Find out your hashtag carbon footprint with our new calculator and share your pledge today. I pledge not to spill 4.9 million barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. Reckon you can match that pledge, BP? Hmm? You reckon? Why are you blocking me from your account, BP? What's going on, buddy? Hello? Queer couple, 22 years old, happy as can be. Do your worst. We got wannabe Harry Styles on the left and wannabe Harry Styles with a mullet on the right. Oh, oh no, wait. My roast was trash. The oh. You know, it's still incest even if you're the same gender. You monster. Just Sherlock levels of observation right there, how much they actually kind of do look alike. <laughs> <laughs> they both think the other is hot, but only because the other person looks like them. How are you gonna have eyebrows like you're incubating caterpillars on your forehead and try to clown someone who could break your ancestors' bones with one right hook? Get you a girl that can do both. <laughs> it's me. Wow, look at me. Look at my multifaceted personalities and capabilities. What? Change clothes? No, no, it's more than that. They can change clothes in different environments. She's such a talented woman that she can even wear a push-up bra. Imagine being straight. <laughs> what music would I even listen to? The same kind of freaking music you listen now, you freaking crayon chewer. I don't know. I gave the AI a spin and got this absolute banging meme on the third try. I used Copilot. The prompt was, can you generate me an image of a meme that you think is funny? Now note, this was AI generated like this. If you can't tell what it says at the top there, that's the end of the image. And they thought this was absolute banging. Last time a crop was that bad, my great-grandfather had to leave Ireland. You know, I am so goddamn sick of Donald Trump. The guy has inserted himself into every aspect of our lives for years now. It is long past time for him to go the frick away. Whether that's to prison or a plot next to Ivana at Bedminster, I don't care. I just go away. Have you tried crying about it? <laughs> well, that's a fairly ironic response, don't you think? Coming, as it does, from people who've been crying about everything since they lost a war in 1865. You truck nuts have been sobbing bitterly about everything from not being able to own people anymore to light bulbs. The amount of sad, salty tears you shed would fill an ocean. I swear, you have no more self-awareness than a dog sitting in the middle of a crowded sidewalk licking its own asshole. Hey! My butthole tastes delicious, thank you. Muffins. 577 people liked this. Yes, chocolate chip muffins are very good. I didn't ask for your opinion, cut.
It? Y'all women really be letting dudes with beers like this break your heart? Oof. Look, I won't be the first to say, d just shave it, man. <laughs> Maybe keep the stubble at the f end of the chin, but those side bits, whoa. But at the same time, I mean, th this is just blatant body shaming. Come on, let's be real. Sorry his genetics don't make him grow his beard as perfect as you want it to be. Now with that defensive stance out of the way, homie's facial hair looking like a death metal band's logo. What a dummy. This is what happens when someone punches the wrong floor on the elevator and delivers their urine sample to the sperm bank. <laughs> Oh my god. Also, hang on, no, that's on the person who mistook the urine for sperm, not the person who delivered it to them. <laughs> Come on. They are, unless I've got something wrong with my body, they are two very different things. Ah, oh, look, it's a psychic and the, the one who... Uh, cyber bully dream or something? I don't, I can't remember his name. Oh, look, someone's referencing them to Hiccup and Astrid from How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, I'm pretty sure Millie Bobby Brown is engaged to someone, so. Sorry, dream bully. But don't worry, someone's made a less awkward observation of you here. He looks like three elves trying to pass as one person. Icky versus EV debate rages on. Electric vehicle owners should only be allowed to charge their cars using wind and solar power. Otherwise, it's just pretend. You know what? I'm sorry, but it's a valid point. But just a quick and dirty, uh, but that flatness bothered me enough. Mm, fall out on Prime, hashtag fall out. Because if there's one thing that is missing in a world that is all about the post-apocalypse, where superficial plastic surgery level standards would never actually exist at all amongst the hierarchy of basic needs of survival. But it only makes sense that the butt crack is like vacuum sealed into the pants. Hey, I put a $100 bill in your shower last week and it's still there, bro. Flop so limp that Steve Stephen Hawking would have looked like a Mr. Universe contender. Considering that's Arnold Schwarzenegger there, I'm assuming that this uh, spokesperson was never heard from ever again. Gigabase Dad. I don't believe in God because I can't see God. Can't see gravity either. Oh, but you believe in the magnetic field. UV rays can't see them. Radio waves <laughs> can't even see them. Oh, but you think they're there, don't you? Love and history. Never seen them before, but they there, aren't they? They darn are here. Now, these are very valid points. The only unfortunate flaw in this argument argument is that, uh, once again, they have forgotten the key detail in all this. These have been proven to exist. Like, okay then, go make a god detector. Sorry, I know that P word is scary for you, but you gotta be brave, okay? Let's hear it. 18 female. Ugh, why'd you reverse the image? I look better bent- Oh, <laughs> no, okay. Oh, much too old to be reading that off an 18 year old shirt. It's because you're picking flowers in a field when you're doing that, isn't that? Isn't, isn't that right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> of course you got a freaking Christian necklace and you have that shirt. You're Always, they always do. You look like Waldo's sister that no one wants to find. Oof. Well, no wonder they can't find her. She's always bent over. You can't find people in the crowd when they're half the height of everyone else. Presenting the English language in 67 accents and random voices. Hey man, that's a great skill and technique you're showing off to us all here, but I'm sorry, you look like a 30-year-old and a 9-year-old at the same time. How it feels to apply to jobs in 2024. I'm old school. I will walk to the company and hand them a printed, on paper, resume. Uh, Honestly, from all of us in the job market who aren't in their late 70s and retired with a house. <laughs> okay, Janelle, your profile says you're a stay-at-home mom. What jobs are you walking into with a resume? Oh God, even worse, they're actually younger. They're not some retired, ignorant person. They're actually someone in our demographic. Jennifer Lopez says men are useless until they turn 33. JLo was swiping on Tinder on behalf of a woman called Brooke who was looking for love. Really? You're gonna confidently establish an idea about an entire gender based on the guys who are on a dating app like Tinder. Oh, by all means, let's give a damn about relationship advice from a woman that collects engagement rings like she's Thanos. I'm gonna take the surgeon's side on this one. I put on a mask and literally within seconds, I am struggling to breathe. The surgeon who wore a mask for six hours to reconstruct my knee thinks maybe you're lying and also a drama queen. Oh, the good old days of starting up. The masses acting like as if these masks have never been in society in any facet whatsoever before. Meanwhile on TikTok, a big brand company taking advantage of people's insecurities about their body shapes to encourage them to buy their products. With the absolute lie that they actually care about how you look and feel and whether or not it's a good thing. We need to know less about each other. I couldn't agree more. Clitoris Rex. This is the email my sister got from a landscaping company job she applied for versus the one she sent back. 
Good evening, Charlotte. Thank you for your interest in the position and contacting me. The position is still open. However, unless you are a bodybuilder, I fear that you will not be able to handle the workload, as it is very physical and demanding, as we are a hard landscaping company. If you feel you are up for it, then feel free to contact me on the number below. Kind regards, Mark. Hi, Muscle Mark. <laughs> I'm already loving this. Thank you for your quick reply. Funnily enough, I probably have just as much experience bodybuilding as you do, which I'm guessing is none. Yeah, I have absolute confidence that this man's profile picture is him with a beer gut, and his muscle mass is just what remains from him after leaving the gym 20 years ago. What I do have is years of experience landscaping and also building retaining walls in 40 degree heat, as I did this for many years while I lived in Australia. I have looked into your company before sending this email and assure you that it would be no more challenging than the work I have completed before, as it was to a much higher standard than the work I've seen your company produce. However, what I do find challenging is working with small-minded individuals such as yourself that I could probably bench press five minutes after being woken up from a three-year coma. Therefore, I am no longer interested in this position. I'm sure you will have no problem finding the correct individual at your next visit to the bodybuilding convention. Kind regards, Charlotte, aka not the bodybuilder. Cover thy drinks, ladies. Maybe there should be a law that forces you to keep your legs closed. Problem solved. Oh, sweetie, why would a law be necessary when your presence already catalyzes that response? You can't be a trophy wife unless you're a trophy. Oof. <laughs> Look, um, trophy wife lifestyle isn't for me and a partner, but there are some people, they definitely want it, but yeah. Yeah, look, we're gonna, we're gonna make that point. Some aspiring trophies, de de definitely gonna stay aspiring. She's more of a participation award from the library book fair. So everyone gets a piece of her then. <laughs> oh God, oh no. Here we have Brie Larson talking on Between Two Ferns. She looks like a sweaty mechanic. She's just really hoping you fall for the idea that you need to get new headlights. Also the fluids in the, um, let me just type this up. Uh, in the tires, they need replacing. So that's it's gonna be another 1,000. Yep. It's guys like this that created the need for the word moron. <laughs> Guessing you don't know the history of the word. Moron was coined in 1910 by psychologist Henry H. Goddard from the ancient Greek word moros, which meant dull and used to describe a person with a mental age in adulthood of between 7 and 10 on the Binet scale. So sounds about right to me. I have no idea what they're talking about, but I'm going to accept that as a valid burn. Bro has the IQ of a freaking Nivea cream bottle. Rare insults. Really? Bro is just too innocent. Oh, hey, a man found a, what, an old doubloon or something? More importantly, okay, were you metal detecting or did you remember where you dropped it 400 years ago? Plot twist, they're not old. They just never bother to moisturize. Oh my God. You know, I look, I feel for this streamer guy, but I also know he kind of just plays along with this stuff because it's j he just reacts so well to it. Hey, do you need a passport to roll over? Yeah, he's got to be careful which side he rolls over to, otherwise he gets detained. Freaking cucumbers, I tell ya. April 8th, 2024, the day humans realized it's not the moon blocking the sun during a solar eclipse. Ha, 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 who knows? Mm, buy my snake oil remedies. Mm. Who knows? Thousands and thousands of freaking scientists know, Martin. You brainless invertebrate. It is the goddamn moon, you scientifically illiterate pine cone. Food's awful and eating sucks. I eat the bare minimum and as fast as possible. I hate eating. I hate feeling full. Men who think cooking makes them manly are cocks afraid of the cage desperate to validate a non-existent masculinity. Imagine how stupid you have to be to find food entertaining. Literally embarrassing. Damn, that's a strange way to admit you can't afford a full meal and are just trying to compensate by saying it's a choice. Oh no, look, it makes sense. Pizza is what got him thrown in jail. Poisoned by the crayons. You need me to draw it out for you? Because you clearly don't understand what I meant. Uh, please do so with the crayons that you haven't ate yet. Why is he built like an average popsicle? Oh, look out, Jake Paul's roaring. <gasps> uh. Wow, his roar sounded like a house cat having his tail stepped on. <laughs> So he sounded very shocked, surprised, and kind of annoyed and bitter at you until you feed him food. Roast me in my visible meat tube that didn't hold up the sign. Very well, sir. God, you are bland. You know it's not easy roasting cream of wheat? Like, did you come here hoping that you might catch a personality upgrade? If homie was a spice, he'd be flour. Now see, this right here is a great example as to the downfall of all video games for the last couple of decades, making the main generic starting characters in all RPGs look like white men. 
Dude looks like he leaves sinks on after he robs houses. Oh, but he's also very passionate about climate change and trying to make a difference. It's okay though, he's sending a message about waste management. Oh, smash. Caleb, you should be saying things like that about your girlfriend, tagged here, and not me. It's kind of weird, bro. Uh, here at Taco Bell, it turns out we underestimated, we underestimated how many of you love Mexican pizza. Seven times more than we expected, to be exact. We are working as fast as we can to restock Mexican pizza ingredients. We'll need some time to replenish our supplies, but when it comes back, we promise it's here to stay. Ohio Regional Sewer District here will be ready. Why does a sewer district have a Twitter? I... <laughs> Imagine having that as your job. Yeah, I manage the social media feed for Poop Patrol. What in the turkey teeth, financed Merc, crushed velvet interior, live, laugh, love, final boss are you? All women are the same. Oh, they all want a rich 18-year-old alpha like me. <laughs> but no, they can never have me. You look like if Andrew Garfield and a thwomp had a child. Yeah, it's the lifted eyebrows that do it. And it's such a shame too, because, I mean, that person is technically saying you could have looked hot. Physician, heal thyself. Effeminate weak men are desperate to defend birth control because it's the only way they can get laid. You're, You're pushing, pushing 40 while I'm married with zero kids. What the frick is a vulva? That's not a word or thing. Speak English. Is the word you're looking for vagina? Because that's what women have. Men have pepees and testicles. Women have vagines. Oh, thank you for the screenshot. I'm in the middle of a conversation where I am in need of examples of men who don't know about the female reproductive system. You are now my top example. Oh, hello, stud. You look like the random setting in a Bethesda Games character editor. Exactly. Generic white man. <laughs> Ice ladder setting be like, Doo. 